What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Sports Report. I'm your host, Land Mathay. This week has been loaded with action from the Pokes. On Tuesday, the Cowboys were beaten by Oral Roberts. Last night, Cowgirl Softball defeated the Tulsa Hurricanes. And then tomorrow, Cowgirl Tennis will compete in the Big 12 Championship. All of this and more on the Sports Report. We start off this past Tuesday night at O'Brate Stadium, where the number two ranked Cowboys lost to Oral Roberts 15-9. It was a tough loss for the Cowboys as their late game rally tied the game at nines, which forced extra innings. But the Cowboys allowed six runs in the 12th inning, which dropped them to 26-11 on the season. The loss, as tough as it was, still came with some bright spots. In fact, despite allowing 15 runs, the OC pitching staff did record a total of 22 strikeouts, which is a school record. There were other bright spots in the Cowboy loss the other night. There were four different Cowboys who collected two RBIs in the game. Caden Trinkle, Jake Thompson, Griffin Dorshing, and Marcus Brown all batted in two runs in the contest. Driving in runs from the plate is always a point of emphasis, but a tough game from the defensive side of the ball, besides the strikeouts, led to a loss at Obrate Stadium Tuesday night. But the Cowboys will be in Obrate again this Friday, where they will host the TCU Horn Frogs in a Big 12 series, and the first pitch is set for 6 p.m. Okay. Now we travel to last night, where the sixth-ranked Cowgirls softball dominated the Tulsa Hurricanes in a 12-1 ball game. The Cowgirls moved to 35-7 this year, and man, it was an offensive showcase last night. Sidney Pennington continued a great season with five RBIs last night, and Morgan Wynn went 3-for-3 three three at the plate. Two very impressive performances from Wynn and Pennington helped propel the Cowgirls to 12 runs in their victory. Another impressive achievement from Wednesday's game was Caitlin Carwile as she extended her hit streak to six games when she blasted a two-run homer in the sixth inning. The defensive side of the ball took care of business as well, and that was mainly due to Morgan Day, who won her fourth consecutive start and moved to 8-2 and two on the season. Day only gave up one run on two hits while striking out nine batters in six innings. A phenomenal night from the Cowgirls will send them into their Big 12 series against the Longhorns with major momentum. The first pitch will be thrown at 6 p.m. All right. Before we talk big time tennis, I just want to remind y'all that the NBA playoffs are going on right now. If you have been watching, then you already know this, but if you haven't been watching, then you have been missing out. There have been gr many great games so far and there will continue to be even more. If you haven't been watching, don't panic, there are games on tonight. The Timberwolves and the Grizzlies will face off at 6.30 p.m. and that series could go either way because the series has tied one game to one. Then at 8 p.m., the Mavs will play the Utah Jazz, where yet again, both teams are tied at one game apiece. The last game of the night will be held at 9 p.m. between the Warriors and the Nuggets, and in that series, the Warriors are up two games to zero. There's a lot of games to be played in the 2022 NBA playoffs, but the intensity is starting to pick up. Speaking of intense situations, there is an OSU team competing in a Big 12 championship this week. Cowgirl Tennis is competing in the Big 12 championship, and they start tomorrow. They head into the championship in the third seed as the third seed, and they will start their tournament against the Texas Tech Red Raiders, who are the sixth seed in the conference. The Cowgirls will play many matches this weekend, but the champion of the Big 12 will not be crowned until Sunday. The Cowgirls will begin their race to a Big 12 title at noon this Friday. Well, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Thursday edition of Sports Report. It was awesome to be here with you guys, and I will see you next Thursday. Until then, take care and have a great rest of the week.